हॅलो डिअर स्टुडंट्स आय एम अजय करमरकर बिफोर प्रोसिडिंग फर्दर आय सजेस्ट यू वन थिंग प्लीज वॉच व्हिडिओ कम्प्लिटली सीट विथ कॉपी पेन इफ यू फाइंड सम वेअर इम्पॉर्टंट देन नोट इट अँड प्रोसिडिंग फर्दर इफ यू फाइंड सम डिफिकल्टीज देन प्लीज राईट इन कमेंट बॉक्स आय विल डेफिनेटली सॉल्व युअर प्रॉब्लेम अँड अलॉंग विथ प्लीज लाईक शेअर अँड सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल दॅट कॅन रीच मोर अँड मोर स्टुडंट्स थँक यू let's move on what the question says here paragraph question it means two question include in a single paragraph so here be carefully one twills a circular ring of mass capital m and radius capital r near the tip of one's finger as shown in the figure in the process the finger never loses contact with the inner rim of the ring the finger traces out the surface of a cone shown by the dotted line the radius of the path traced out by the point where the right and the finger is in contact is smaller the finger rotates with the angular velocity omega not the rotating ring rolls without slipping on the outside of a smaller circle described by the point where a ring and the finger is in contact the coefficient of friction between the ring and the finger is mu and the acceleration due to gravity is g this question asked je advanced 2017 paper second <clears throat> here the question first question based on this paragraph that the total kinetic energy of the ring is you have given four options m omega not square r square option d 1 by 2 m omega square here m capital m means mass of the ring m omega square capital r minus small r square option c m omega square not and uh, r minus small r whole square and last option 3 by 2 <coughs> m omega not square r minus small r whole square before solving this question i am showing one activity please watch it carefully here you can see that it is a ring and i am revolving i am going to revolve this ring with the help of this finger like this without losing the contact this will be moving okay now according to the first part of the question your first part says the total kinetic energy you are well known about that the total kinetic energy is equal to translatory kinetic energy or linear kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy here the formula is 1 by 2 mvc vc means velocity of set, uh, from the center of mass vc square plus half i omega not initial uh, initial angular velocity i omega not square now you can see that this is the ring its a whole radius is capital r and small ring which is moving that makes circular path that small radius we have, we have considered here small r so remaining part or the linear value this remaining part total r minus small r will be cancel out then this is r minus small r okay this part only we have taken for the linear velocity capital r minus small r then substitute the value of vc what is the relation between the angular velocity and linear velocity v equal to omega r then uh, we have substitute omega not and what is the radius we have taken uh, taken the radius is capital r minus small r so we have substitute capital r minus small r whole square plus half i omega not square k equal to 1 by 2 m omega not square capital r minus small r square plus half i omega not square what is the next part we have substitute the value 1 by 2 m omega not square r square get common then it can be written as 1 minus small r upon capital r whole square and what is the moment of inertia of the ring is mr square so we have substitute mr square in the place of ring moment of inertia of ring omega not square 
okay now you can see this is the small radius of the making circular path by the finger so small r is very very less than capital r so k small r upon capital r can be neglected so this portion r upon capital r small r upon capital r can be neglected now it became m omega naught square capital r square and this is 1 plus half m r square omega naught square so half plus half now it become 1 then m omega naught square r square is our answer now let's see which option is correct now you can see that first portion first part m omega square r square is matches from first portion so our correct answer is a now the second part of this question the minimum value of omega naught the minimum value of omega naught below which the ring will drop down is again you have given four options a option root g upon mu upon uh, into r minus small r option b root 2 g upon mu capital r minus small r option c root 3 g upon 2 mu into capital r minus small r and option d root g upon 2 mu capital r minus small r now you can see this ring becomes to revolve by the finger it means normal force acting this direction due to weight of the body of the ring is acting downward direction and as per the law of friction friction upon normal force equal to friction coefficient then f can be written as mu n acting upward direction mu n is it i think so all the points is clear now this finger making some small circular path its radius is smaller the remaining distance from the center of this ring then this distance is capital r minus small r from this normal force this normal force is equal to mass into acceleration okay this normal force equal to mass and the acceleration means what is the relation between the linear acceleration and angular velocity omega square and the distance this path is capital r minus small r now substitute this value omega square capital r minus small r and the what the question is given the question is given that the minimum value of omega naught below which the ring will drop down is so now this mg is less than or equal to this mu m then mg equal to or less than in the place of n we have substitute this m omega naught square capital r minus mala this m capital n sorry m and cancel out g upon mu capital r minus small r root equal to omega naught so let's see which option is correct here you can see that first option is matching from the answer okay so it is the first answer g upon mu into capital r minus small r Thank you for staying till the ends of this video and yes, let me remind you again, don't forget to subscribe this channel that can you get the information for the next video. Bye bye, take care.